Clean the two liter EcoBoost um, motor. Everybody tells us online that it's not safe. You can't do it. You can't do this. You can't do that. People say you're going to mess up the turbo. You're going to mess up all this stuff. It ain't nothing but a bunch of hogwash. Yes, you can mess up the turbo. You can do those types of things if you do things incorrectly, that's for sure. That's why you have to know how to do things correctly. And what I often do is I try to think outside the box. Am I ever going to be that person that says, no, you can't? Of course you can. There's no reason to tell somebody they can't do something where there's a will, there's a way, and you can do it safely. Now I'm finishing up here. I dropped some CRC cleaner down these valves right here. I'll show you what they look like and I'll give you a brief explanation on what I did. On this belt tensioner right here, there is a 14 millimeter anchor spot for a, for a rent. Who's that? Right here. I just stuck this wrench on it, pulled it, pulled it up, pulled the belt off of it. Two 10 mils right here, set it back. And then uh, once I cleared this belt tensioner from the corner, I pulled the 10 millimeter stud right here out. And then I went down, there's a 10 mil. There's a 10 mil right here, there's a 10 mil right here, and then there's a 10 mil right here in the corner. And then all those 10 mils come loose. And then you can look down inside each one of these cylinders. You see I got that CRC cleaner down in there. It's just soaking them valves right now. These three cylinders were closed. This one right here is partially open, but you can look down in there and see how bad all that stuff is if I get the right angle. When I'm live, the phone won't, won't let me focus the best. Let me see if I can get it with my uh, bore scope over here. Where's it at? Right here. This first valve is open a little bit, so you don't want to spray no cleaner down in that first valve. See how bad that is? See how much junk is all over that valve? That valve is open a little bit. You ain't gonna be able to clean that. I mean, not not with it open like that. You gotta rotate the engine over a little bit. And basically what you do is you'll take an 18 millimeter socket on a, uh, a ratchet and you'll spin over the bottom of the motor right here. Right down there on the bottom, you see a crank bolt. Put that 18 millimeter socket on there and slowly turn it over while you're watching that valve. And as soon as they close, you're good to go ahead and spray your cleaner down there, in there. So it takes a while for the CRC cleaner to work. It ain't going to work instantly like the Valvoline stuff does. The CRC cleaner, it's made to be used with your services. Not to just go in and make some miracle happen. That's not how this stuff works. You need to have started this stuff from day one in order to get instant results. If not, you're going to have to use a really, really heavy chemical chemical like an industrial type valve cleaner there you go you can see a little bit better how that valve how nasty that valve is same thing there you can see how nasty that valve is and then you can see in this one, these were the cylinders I had closed. This motor's junk, so that's why I'm showing you guys on this motor. And then there you can see all the fluid. The CRC that I have down in there, I filled it up and it's working, cleaning. And then you can see these. You see how dark that's starting to get. Starting to clean all the deposit and stuff off those valves. But again, it's not a very harsh, very instant chemical. It'd be better using the Valvoline industrial stuff that they give the shops for professional use. You could dump that stuff down in there and come back half hour, 45 minutes later, and it'll almost dissolve that stuff right off those valves. But the CRC stuff, any kind of at-home use or something that you can go to the store and get off the shelf, it ain't going to be to the same caliber that we have at the dealership. It's just a completely different chemical makeup. The stuff we have is way more harsh. But that's how easy it is to get down in there in them valves and clean them out. You could get a... You could get a little pick set or something like this, all these different angles and hooks and stuff like that. And you could sit there and pick some of the carbon and clean the carbon off. 
You can get yourself a little walnut blaster machine and just walnut blast those. While you're sucking out on one side, you can be blasting the stuff down in the other. It's just a matter of how bad do you want to actually do it. And it's a super easy job. I probably give this a three or four, not even. It's just take a bunch of bolts apart. And then when you go to put everything back together, pull your manifold up there and hold it nice and true before you start tightening your bolts down and do a, just do like a cross pattern. Anybody could do it. Anybody could clean their valves. So a lot of those people out there that say, oh, it's dangerous, you can't clean the EcoBoost engines, you can't do that, it's all a bunch of hogwash, man. The guys are just regurgitating what they've learned from some internet forum or, you know, you're going to blow the turbo up or this and that. It's all, it's all nonsense. That's, that's what people do. So I told you guys whenever I got one of these motors that uh, you can see the reservoir is dry. There ain't no coolant in it. It's a two liter. It's got that coolant intrusion. It's going to go back to the auction. They sold us this vehicle at auction and probably didn't even know there was something wrong with the motor. So this is going to go back and it'll be somebody else's deal. Another dealer will pick it up, probably, probably dirt cheap next to nothing, and then they'll turn around and put a motor in it and make profit off of it. But we ain't going to keep it. So I'm using this as a demonstration because that motor's got to come out of there, it's junk. But that's the just of uh, cleaning these. I mean, there's not really much to talk about. Fill, get down in there, fill it up with as much chemical and stuff as you need. You can sit there and clean those valves and stuff with a long pick or something like that without gouging into the cylinder head. Just be real nice and easy about it. It's easy. There ain't nothing to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And then when you're ready to clean everything out and blow everything out, you got like a little, a, a long air gun like this. Just put you a rag around that cylinder and blow that stuff back out into your rag. And uh, make sure you don't get nothing back into the intake manifold and you'll be okay. You can lay a bunch of rags ahead of time over the intake manifold. So when you're pulling your rags out, Make sure you keep your, your rag over that port so nothing's going back down in there. And you can just be real real careful and pull that stuff out of there. Or you can pull this manifold out of here all the way. Pull, undo your sensors, your map sensor and stuff that's attached to it. Undo your map sensor. And this manifold will actually go to pull out of there. You pull the, the tube going from your... Uh, man, what the hell does that go to the low, lower intake manifold? Mm-hmm. 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 Down about the throttle body. Plugged into that throttle inlet down there. You can take that tube off of there, pull it out of the way, unsnap these tubes from the intake manifold, undo your clamp down there at the throttle body, you can pull this intake manifold right out of there. You can have that intake manifold out in 20 minutes and, and you know, be working on your head where you ain't got to worry about all this. I'm doing it in chassis like this just to show you how easy it is. I'd do this right here all day. Get those valves super clean. That's just basics. 2.0 liter EcoBoost uh, valve cleaning. You know, it can be done. You just have to be patient. Don't rush it. You may have to spray your valves a couple times or you may want to find something a little stronger. Uh, the the Valvoline industrial stuff that we have is what I'm gonna try next if this is not very good So uh, I'll let it sit for a little while and then we'll come back Maybe I'll let it sit all weekend come back Monday and clean them out. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do yet But we'll figure it out. Whatever it is. I'll let you know We're gonna go ahead and get off of here for right now, and then I'll meet back up with y'all later. I appreciate y'all